Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install WinRAR. Now WinRAR is a data compression tool and that is what it's mainly used for. However, it is also an encryption tool and an archiving tool. Now the three files here that I have on my desktop are the files that we're going to be compressing using WinRAR. So I'm going to take you through the installation process first. So let's open up your browser. Once this loads, you'll want to go to the address bar and at the top here, you'll want to go to www.win-ra.com. This will then take you to the main page of WinRAR. Now, if you're operating a Windows device, a 64-bit Windows in device in English, then you can just click the download WinRAR button and it will download that version for you. However, if you don't have a Windows device and English is not your first language and you want a different language, then you can click the bottom left download button. This will then take you to an area where you can select your language. So let's for the sake of this video, we're going to press English and the version. So 5.9 is the latest platform. I'm going to select Windows, but you also have the option of Mac OS, Linux, Android and FreeBSD. So I'm just going to click Windows. Archetype as well. You can choose whatever your archetype is, mine is 64 bit. And then click Search. So the version that I searched for was WinRAR 5.9 English 64 bit, and it's for Windows. I'm going to press Download here. Then you'll bring you to the download page. Now you can either click Download here or the button here. It's the same thing. I'm going to click the text to start the download. Okay, so WinRAR has downloaded. So let's just click open. And we'll get prompted by Windows to install WinRAR. Let's click yes. Once we're here, just go through the usual installation. You can pick the area that you want to save WinRAR into. I'm gonna keep it the default and I'm gonna click install. You have the options to choose which files you can extract and compress with WinRAR. I'm just going to leave the default versions. You could also tick ISO and JAR, but I'm just going to keep it the way it is. I'm going to keep everything the way it is here. I'm going to make sure that I have a shortcut created in the program group and everything else is fine. I'm going to press OK. And there we have it. WinRAR has been successfully installed into the folder and it's done. So. There we go. You can either read the console raw manual and you can see about what's the latest version and stuff. But I'm going to do none of that. I'm going to simply close out of this window and I'm going to minimize my browser. OK, guys, so now I'm on my desktop and I have three files here. I have a Word document, I have a picture and I have a video. And I want to compress these files because for this example, it might not be big enough, but maybe you have a large files and you want to send it by email. So let's just highlight all of these and check the size real quick. So these three files together are about 10 megabytes, 10.1. Let's now compress these three files. So whoever receives it on the other end will have a nice small file that they can then uncompress with WinRAR. So let's highlight these files again and click Add to Archive. Now. This will bring it up some parameters here, so you can pick the name. So I'm going to pick compressed raw file, and then you can choose your archive format. You can choose raw or zip. These are the two common ones. I'm going to choose raw. You can select the dictionary size if you want. I'm going to keep that the way it is. And you can also add a password. Very good for securing files uh, that you don't want other people to access very easily. Let's say you're sending it by email or another file sharing service. In this case, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to simply press OK. And there's my compressed file right here. It's called compressed just for the sake of this video. So as you remember, the three files together are 10 megabytes, 10.1 megabytes. Let's see how big the compressed file is, the raw file. So as you can see here, the raw file is significantly less, two thirds less actually, it's 3.74 really nice. So let's close out this. And now I just want to show you how you can uncompress a file or extract a file with WinRAR. So all you simply want to do is right click on this 
and then you get three options here. You get extract files where you can extract one file, extract files here, and that will basically extract the, all the files into the location that you're currently in, or extract to compressed, which will say extract to and then your file name. So in this case, my file is called compressed. So it's just going to make a new folder and it's going to be called compressed. So I'm going to do that because I like to keep it in one folder, all the contents. So let's do that. And there we have it. It has generated a compressed a file called compressed and it has the uncompressed contents. So let's just change the view here and there you have it exactly the same as the files that I compressed previously. Let's just highlight all these and check the size and there we go it's 10.1. Alright guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions please leave a comment down below Give it a like and subscribe, it helps grow the channel and I'd really appreciate it. See you guys on the next one.